premiere of the new bestseller, Once an Eagle, the big drama of two soldiers, one decent, the other ruthless, fighting one another through two world wars, two strong men and the women they loved and used. See an all-star cast in Once an Eagle, tomorrow at 9, 8 Central and Mountain on NBC. Here's the fastest type relief known for occasional bronchial asthma attacks. Restores free breathing as fast as 15 seconds. It's in Primatine Mist. Or to keep breathing freely for hours, Primatine Tablets. In the lungs, Primatine opens clogged breathing tubes, relaxes bronchial spasms, restores free breathing. Primatine Mist, the fastest relief known. Primatine Tablets contains the asthma relievers doctors prescribe most. Visit the American Museum of Natural History. Hello, Mac, you're living on love. It's a way in life. Got a little boy grin. Are you going to be our best friend? You know, Mac, you age like wine with your own sweet touch. And you love it so much, you're going to live it over again. Hello, Mac. You've got a heart of gold, so be good to yourself tonight. Hello, Mac. You're on a winning streak and you're favored to win and you might. You just might. Hang on, Mac. Hold on, Mac. To the companies trying to make luggage as good as ours, Samsonite presents a lesson on independence. All it takes to be independent is the hidden helper. It's a push-or-pull handle and two hidden wheels. We call it cartwheels. And it won't run away on a slope. That's independence. Samsonite keeps going strong. Ah, oh, Marcel, I would like your very finest cheese. If you appreciate great cheese taste, you'll like nacho cheese-flavored Doritos brand tortilla chips. Nacho cheese flavor. The crunch says Doritos. The flavor says cheese. Nacho cheese Doritos brand tortilla chips. One of three great flavors. Chris. Oh, morning, Dad. Hey, I got the paper, huh? How'd the bears do? Chris, a girl just kissed me in the driveway. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Who? Well, you tell me she was wearing a t-shirt with your picture on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that was April, Dad. April, huh? Well, what was she doing coming out of this house at this hour of the morning? Well, she's an early riser. She, she stopped by on the way to her folks' house. Chris, uh, I, I don't want you doing that kind of thing anymore. Well, you mean never? <laughs> I mean in this house. Oh, would you prefer me to entertain the girls in the back seat of a car? Well, that was always good enough for me and your... <laughs> uh, listen, let's just not get it off the track here. Good morning, guys. Mm. Well, Chris, you're up early. Peggy. Did you know that your son had a girl with him down in the basement? Well, how would I know that? Yeah, and Dad's all mad about it, too. Well, you're darn tootin'. This is my house. Strange people camping out here, and I have no control. Oh, man, you can't be everywhere at once. Hey, do you mean to say that you're not Good gonna... Good morning, everybody. Mac. Good morning, Mother. Do you sleep well? Who could sleep well in an abandoned mine shaft? Uh, Graham, anytime you want to hop afraid. Listen, slumlord. My room needs paint. My shower leaks, and I could use some new carpeting. Maybe a nice pink shag. Uh, listen, Graham, I'm a little busy right now, so why don't you just take a number, go quietly to your room, and wait? <laughs> In that scuzzy pit. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. Back seats of cars are out. I mean, today kids have vans. Chris, don't confide in me. 
What's that? Vans. Oh, they, they got them all fixed up. Thick carpetings, beds, refrigerators, curtains. Well, that sounds good. But I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> Mac. Uh, now, I want to tell you something important. I won't be home for dinner tonight. I'm taking the kids to open house at nursery school. What's the matter with Janet? Well, she has a date. Oh. And besides, where would I park it? <laughs> but I'll leave you some chicken, either in the oven or in the refrigerator. Right. Well, now, if I don't get it in early, it won't be done until you're home, so it'll still be warm. Okay. Well, but if I do get it in early, it'll be in the refrigerator, so you can take it out, put it in the oven, and warm it up. I'll just stop for a corn and cluck. <laughs> Grandpa, look what happened to Big Josh. Well, uh, I mean, what's the matter with him? He's, he's uh, just a little wet. Chase him trying to drown him in the toilet. <laughs> Hey, kids, sit down and eat your breakfast. Mm -hmm. And don't spill anything that stains. Uh, look, gang, I think I'll just read my paper in the dining room before I get caught in a flash flood of Ovaltine. <laughs> Peggy! Dear Mac, the chicken is in the refrigerator. Love, Peggy. Dear Dad, no it isn't. Love, Chris. <laughs> oh, uh, Peggy, is that, uh... You? Okay, kid, don't move or I'll, 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 I'll bust your gourd. <laughs> no, you won't. Hey, hey, come on now, you, you're not gonna shoot me, are you? You wanna take that chance? No. Drop that golf club. You got it. <laughs> uh, sit down. Thank you. All right, uh, give me your watch. My watch? Oh, sure, there you go. Those are real zircons. Uh, let me have your belt. My belt? Oh, well, it'll never fit. I'm tying you up with it. Oh, okay. That'll work swell. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to give you any trouble, kid. Hey, put your arms behind you. Okay. Look, you just take whatever you want. Why don't you take my CB radio? It's one of the best. Even make up your own name. I call myself Turkey Gizzard. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Lenny. You could call yourself Lenny. Oh, there you are. I've given up on the... I've given up on the van. So how about springing for some wallpaper, cheapo? Oh, I didn't know you had company. Graham, uh, this, 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 this is Lenny. Nice to meet you, young man. Thanks, uh, Graham. Now, I want you boys to help me with this wallpaper. Which one do you like best? The roses or the jungle scene? The roses, Graham. Ugh. Lenny, which one? Huh? That jungle scene sure is colorful. Oh, thank you, Lenny. See what I have to put up with? Roses. Ugh. Do you do kidnappings? <laughs> Did I tie you too tight? Oh. Well, let's see. No, no, it's okay. Don't move or I'll shoot. Okay, now I got you. Hey, don't hit me with that thing, okay? Please. Oh, man, I, I, I knew, I knew I shouldn't have done this. I mean, it, it was dumb. It, it's just, 
Well, you, you see, I'm really up against it, and, and, you, and your house looked empty, and... Look, I'm really s sorry. Look, I'll never do anything like this again. Will you just give me a break? Why should I? Well, my wife's pregnant, and we haven't eaten since yesterday. She's outside in the van right now. Oh, you're one of those guys with a van, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we better just uh, take a little look outside and see if she's really out there. Now, you just get up and march. Yes, sir. And one false move, and I'm going to take a divot right out of your head. <laughs> you from around here? No. No, we're from Connecticut. On our way to California. A friend of mine has a job lined up for me as a security guard. Well, you're certainly qualified. Got your own gun and everything. All right, now, you just get over there. I'm going to open the door. See, there's my van. Lenny's pool service? Oh, yeah, that didn't work out. I'm allergic to chlorine. <laughs> See, Debbie, she's in the front. Yeah, but I'm not sure if she looks pregnant. All you can see is her head. She's pregnant lower down. Yeah, well, you better call her in here. Oh, come on. Do I have to? Yes. I mean, well, see, I don't want her getting mixed up in all this. See, she, she thinks I'm here visiting a friend. Look, are you going to call her in here, or do I call the police? Debbie! Debbie, you want to come in here today? Yeah, and uh, if you are pregnant, uh, don't run. <laughs> look, look, couldn't you just go along with what I told her? Pretend that your son is the friend I was visiting. You want me to give you an alibi for robbing my house? Lenny, get over there. Hi. See? What did I tell you? Yeah, she sure is. What are you talking about? Oh, well, uh, you're, well, you know, you're just as pretty as Lenny said you were. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm Matt Ferguson. Any friend of my son's is welcome here. <laughs> Excuse me, huh. Debbie. You're, uh, Mike's father? Am I? Uh, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm Chris's father. Uh, who's Mike? I thought you said his name was Mike. Uh, yeah. Uh, he... Oh, uh, well, uh, his, uh, his real name is, uh, Chris, but, uh, a lot of people call him Mike. <laughs> it's, uh, it's shorter. <laughs> Uh, listen, uh, Chris, uh, Mike, uh, uh, my son, he's, he's not home right now. Oh, that's too bad, huh? Yeah, so I guess we'll be going. And no telling when uh, Chris will be home, All right? right, he's a real night owl. Yeah, well, nice meeting you. Yeah, and I'll tell uh, Chris you stop by. Um, good luck and have a good baby. <laughs> oh, for, well, isn't this a nice surprise? Well, it certainly is. Well, aren't you going to introduce this man? Is that you, Peggy? Oh, hi, Lenny. Hi, Grant. This is my wife, Debbie. Oh, and uh, this is uh, my wife, uh, Peggy. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. Lenny's a uh, friend of Chris's, and uh, oh. they were on their way to California and just stopped by to say hello, and, but they're behind schedule. Well, I'll be a fat lady. Well, <laughs> she says she's not a fat lady. She's going to have a baby. I want to see it. <laughs> you can't see him now. Why not? I ate my vegetables. <laughs> well, um, it's, um, it's asleep. And you better be too. Now, go on upstairs. <laughs> yeah, well, kids, uh, on your way. What do you do, Debbie? Oh, uh, in about a month. Looks to me like one false move and it's bombs away. <laughs> well, it's a shame you've got to be going. Well, gee, Chris will be disappointed if he doesn't see you. Can't you stay for a little while? Well... I guess we could. Uh, uh, no, we really can't. Oh, uh, they really can't. Oh, sure you can. Debbie, how about a nice tuna sandwich? Oh, all right. I'd like to freshen up first if I could. Oh, well, sure. Come on up here with me. Thank you. <laughs> well, and I'll go fix the food. Debbie, I wanted to be in Omaha by tonight. Imagine anybody wanted to be in Omaha. <laughs> yeah, when well, we're having so much fun right here. The late, late cough. <coughs> the worst time for a cough at night. <laughs> this one woke me up. Oh, late, late cough. Take something strong. Vicks Formula 44 not only helps calm the cough in your throat, but works <coughs> in your cough control center, right where your cough impulse is triggered. 
<laughs> Formula 44 was strong enough for that late, late cough. It can handle my cough anytime. Vicks Formula 44 for the late, late cough. He might not know what to do with all the crazy gifts he'll get this Christmas, but he'll sure know what to do with Old Spice Cologne or an Old Spice Nautical Decanter or one of our many Old Spice gift sets. Old Spice. He'll use it, enjoy it, and love you for it. Boy, I can't understand why a nice-looking kid like you would do something so dumb. Come on, hon. The oh. door's this way. <laughs> Gee, it's hard to see when you first come into the light. <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. What's going on? Huh? Hi. Oh, Lenny, this is my son and a girl. <laughs> Her name's Karen, Dad. Aw, oh, gee, I'd love to stay and chat, but it's a school night. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> so, what's up? Chris, I thought I told you I didn't want you having girls down there anymore. I told her what you said, Dad, but I couldn't get through to her. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Do you believe this kid? 20 years old, and when's he gonna grow up? Oh, Dad. Uh, don't be too hard on him, Mr. Ferguson. Don't stick up for him, Lenny. Dad, who is he? Oh, he's a friend of yours. <laughs> yeah, is that okay? Sure. Uh, what's going on? Well, here we are again. Uh, just play along, okay? Oh, aren't you surprised? Yeah. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> Chris, this is my wife, Debbie. Debbie, this is Chris. Hi. Hi. Here we are, Debbie. Tuna for two. So, when did you two meet? When you were living in Hawaii? Yeah. Right. Hawaii. Lenny, you never told me you went to Hawaii. I lied. <laughs> One weekend, I told you I had a cold. I really went to Hawaii. For a weekend? When was this? Three years ago. Well, Chris wasn't in Hawaii three years ago. Well, uh, one year, three years in the islands. <laughs> Heck, who keeps track of time? Wow, wow, wow. Matt, what's going on? Well, honey, it's really very simple. You see, uh, Lenny, uh, he, well, he came by to see uh, Mike. But Mike doesn't live here. Uh, Chris does. But uh, Mike was the guy that Lenny met in no, Hawaii. No, stop. That's Forget it. it. Forget it. I mean, thanks for trying, Mr. Ferguson, but, but it's no use. I mean, well, the truth is going to come out sooner or later. I, I might as well tell him now. What truth? Well, you see, I, I didn't come here to see anybody. I came here to rip this place off. What? You what? Well, now it's not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> yes, it is. Mr. Ferguson's been covering up for me all along. What were you going to do, Mac? Split the loot? Lenny, how could you do a thing like this? Even if we are broke. This is terrible. What kind of father are you going to be? Hey, look, Debbie, just now hold it. I mean, uh, your husband made a mistake, uh, a, a big mistake, but I mean, we all make them, and uh, I'm sure after tonight, he's never going to try anything like this again. I can't believe it. Look, Debbie, I'm Janet, trying to tell you, he was... How was the date with Roger? Gross. <laughs> you mean you didn't have a good time? Uh, well, it was somewhere between rotten and going out with my ex-husband. That bad. Yeah, listen, uh, excuse me, uh, guys, I'm trying to... Oh, uh, hi, I'm Janet. Oh, hi, I'm Lenny. This is my wife, Debbie. Yeah, Lenny's a friend of Chris's. No, he's not. Don't you remember, Deb? We already got that straightened out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Lenny's not a friend. Uh, Lenny's a burglar. Uh, a burglar. Oh, Dad, uh, look, something happened tonight, and uh, I think I better tell you about it. Wait a minute. How gross was he? Uh, 
No, Mom, that isn't it. What happened was I started Look, guys, to... Jet, please, I'm sorry that you had a lousy time, but I'm telling you, honey, I'm, we, we'll talk about it later because uh, we're really into something very important here. Something important? My life isn't important? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, your life is important, honey. I mean, but it'll still be important tomorrow, so, so why don't we just talk about it then? Okay. We can talk about the smash fender tomorrow. Yeah, that'll be fine. Now, we can, the smash, what, the fender, you smash the fender? Like I said, it's not important. Come on, Daddy. But Janet, I, yeah. Uh, before your daughter came in, you know, you were doing pretty good. Uh, oh, yeah. Forget it. Nothing you can say is going to make up for what Lenny did. Wait, wait a minute, Debbie. Now, I mean, the only reason uh, Lenny did what he did was because of you and the baby. Now, I mean, I know that doesn't make it right, but, but you know, I've got the feeling he's going to make a hell of a father. Thanks, Mr. Ferguson. Look, believe me, I'll never do anything so stupid again. Yeah, but that's what you said when you installed that diving board at the shallow end of that pool. <laughs> Look, Debbie, what can I say? I mean, it was dumb, and I'm sorry, okay? Well... I guess. <laughs> I love happy endings. Have a nice trip, kids. Well, no, no, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. You can't go anywhere. They can't? No. They have no money. Oh, don't worry about us. We'll sleep in the van. <laughs> but you can't. You're pregnant. You can't sleep in a cold van. That's probably how she got pregnant in the first place. <laughs> You're gonna sleep here tonight. Uh, Peggy, uh, Lenny, uh, excuse me. Uh, oops, sorry, Peggy. <clears throat> Peggy, I'd like to talk to you about these uh, sleeping arrangements in the kitchen. That's no problem. I can sleep on the couch and you and Lenny can have my water bed. They can have my room. I'd love to try the water bed. <laughs> well, Mac, I don't understand. Why don't you want them to stay over? Because I want to put crime back in the streets where it belongs. Well, you can't leave them out there in the cold. I know that. Got to think of something. I've got an idea. I'm going to give them some cold chicken. No, I'm going to give them some cold catch. How did you get all that money? I saved it. Well, I mean, how could you save so much money? Well, I put five dollars away every time you... Every time what? Well, every time you... Oh, you know. You mean all these years it's been for, for, for fun and profit? Oh, Mac, I just needed a reminder to help me save money. Oh, honey, couldn't you have done it a simpler way, like just set aside five dollars every week? I think we could afford that. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> you know something? This could be bigger than the Christmas club. <laughs> and a lot more fun, too. Now, just give them what they need out of this. Okay. Golly, Nedzo. <sighs> this has a lot of sentimental value. <laughs> Go on, Softy. <laughs> Did you work everything out? Yes, tell them, Mac. Yeah, uh, well, uh, Lenny, uh, we figured that you'd feel uncomfortable sleeping here. No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. You've heard the expression, never sleep where you steal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. So, uh, we didn't want you to go away empty-handed, so you, uh, you have a good dinner and uh, get yourself a decent room. That's more than I've got. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. <laughs> Mac, that's only enough money for one night. What are they going to do for the rest of the trip? Well, uh, how long is it going to take you to get to Los Angeles? Five or six days. Five or six days? Well, geez, Liz, can't you drive a little faster? <laughs> hey, Dad, uh, you, you don't want them to rush. This is their chance to see America. Sure, take your time. See the Grand Canyon, Liberace's house. Look, uh, would you please all just stay out of this? I mean, Lenny knows where he wants to go. Don't forget souvenirs. Souvenirs? Uh -huh. Someday this trip will have a lot of fond memories for them. Yeah. You guys got a camera? 
Chris, they're young. They'll remember. And they'll need quarters for the magic fingers. Okay. Get change. Oh. <laughs> that leaves us with exactly five dollars. Okay. Buy yourself Wyoming. Oh. <laughs> well, I can't thank you enough. You saved our lives. Oh. <laughs> and don't worry, we'll pay back every penny. We're not worried. <laughs> and remember, when you get to California, see Disneyland and boycott grapes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you do. Have a nice, safe trip now. Bye. Bye, 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 Bye Chris. Bye, thank you. <laughs> oh, they're really good kids, honey. Yeah. You know, I'm proud of how you handled this whole thing. Well, you know, sometimes you have to... Temper justice with mercy. <laughs> Mr. Ferguson? And sometimes you don't. I almost forgot something. Look, Lenny, uh, just to tell you what, charge it and send me the bill. No, no, I, I forgot to give you your watch. Here. Oh, man, my watch? Hey, that's, I'm glad you did this. The crystal's broken. Oh, yeah, I noticed that. It must have happened when I tied you up. Oh, here, here. It's on me. When you can't have a great lunch out, have a great lunch in. Lipton Cup of Soup. Quick! A delicious cup of soup. This green pea tastes homemade. Ever wish a packed lunch packed a little more flavor? Lipton Cup of Soup. Rich, real, and delicious. That's Lipton Cup of Soup. You never had soup so good, so fast. Lipton Cup of Soup tastes great. Wouldn't leave home without it. Quick! A delicious cup of soup. Absolutely fantastic flavor. Gentlemen, sales for the third Eight hours and four minutes. Amazing. Nine hours and six minutes. Fantastic. Introducing remarkable new Vicks Sinex long-acting nasal spray. Unlike regular sprays, new Sinex helps unblock stuffy noses and decongest sinus openings up to ten hours. Tied up. Ten hours? Incredible. The game? No, my nasal spray. Sinex long-acting nasal spray. New from Vic. Oh, Mac, look, it's a baby announcement from Lenny and Debbie. They had a girl. They called her Patricia Barbara. Oh, yeah? Great. Listen, uh, is there any money in there? Uh, uh. uh P.S. We'll send you the money soon. There's a bank here that looks like a piece of cake. <laughs> well, at least the kid's got a sense of humor. Well, we'll have oh. to send him a really special baby gift. Honey, you want to spend more money on them? You don't want to send him a gift? Sure, why not? And I don't care what it costs. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> as long as you get the money out of the freezer. Tomorrow night at 8, 7 Central and Mountain Time, Dick Van Dyke welcomes Sid Caesar and Donna Fargo as his special guests. Enjoy a fun-filled hour with Van Dyke and company tomorrow night at 8, 7 Central and Mountain Time on NBC. Right now, see the premiere of Sirota's Court next. This is NBC News Update, brought to you by American Express Traveler's Checks. Here is Tom Snyder. Good evening. Gary Gilmore is to die by firing squad Monday, two days after he's 36. That's what he wants, but somebody might appeal. NBC News correspondent Irving R. Levine says Soviet leader Brezhnev told Treasury Secretary Simon he won't needle Jimmy Carter. Economic indicators stayed level in October after two bad drops. The watchword now, cautious optimism. Jose Lopez Portillo is Mexico's new president, facing restless peasants, shrunken pesos, and big debts there. Angola, finally a member of the United Nations tonight. At Cape Canaveral, they knocked down the old gantry from which the first astronauts flew. And President Ford's suburban Washington home is for sale. He wants $137,000. He paid $34,000, but there is a pool. That's tonight's update from NBC News, New York. The worst thing that can happen on vacation is to lose your money. Don't take chances. Carry American Express traveler's checks. Don't leave home without them. George C. Scott. 
and Trish Vanderveer star in Hallmark Hall of Fame's stunning new special, Beauty and the Beast, a bizarre love affair between a beautiful woman and a strange and passionate man-beast. Beauty and the Beast, Friday at 8.30, 7.30 Central and Mountain Time on NBC. We're here at Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips to get the inside scoop on their new chicken and chips dinner. How's that chicken, fella? Fantastic. Right, but what makes it so fantastic? It's all white meat, but moist. It's boneless. You clear crunchy outside. That's the big story, America. Another great meal you can't make at home from Arthur Treacher's original chicken and chips. That's fish and chips, Frank. Uh, just testing you guys. Mark, do you think the Rangers are next draft choices are going to help? Yes. Hey, Marv, did the wind bother the Giants Sunday? Yes. Oh, Marv, do you think that last Jets game is going to affect generations to come? Yes. If you want to get your sports news fast, get it from the guy who's got a direct line to more locker rooms than any other sportscaster in New York. Marv, yes, Albert. You can watch his voice every night on News Center 4 at 5. Watch us. We give you more to watch. You want some more coffee, Marv? Yes. Adventure on Wild Kingdom, Thursday night at 7.30.